So guys, we are talking about aorta. Are we, how many parts in aorta? We are talking, yeah, we are talking about the thorax, yeah, thoracic part and abdominal part. And let's make the aorta itself. So this will be what's that? And this one. What's that? Two here. Yeah, there's coronary arteries, coronary right coronary. and left, and this is the ascending portion, ascending this arteries. is arcus, in the arcus we have Branch. Yeah, brachiocephalic trunk, then we have, which one? Left, comma, carotid artery, and this one is left, subclavian, right? And let's talk about the branches. What kind of branches you know in abdominal eye in thoracic aorta? Uh, it start, okay, first it starts at the level of the fourth vertebra and it goes to each way. Yeah, right? Uh, then we have the branches. What kind of branches you know? Okay, we have parietal and visceral. What are the branches for? The first one is posterior intercostal intercostal artery, right? Mm -hmm. The other one is superior superior, superior phrenic phrenic artery. Is there any other branches? No. Okay, and what about the visceral? The first one is bronchial. Uh, so bronchial, then comes bronchial and tracheal. Okay, the next one is okay, mediastinal. Mediastinal, then pericardial and esophageal, right? Esophageal. Okay, uh, guys, we'll, today we'll be trying to make anastomosis between the blood vessels of subclavian artery and the thoracic, thoracic artery. Okay, so let's make the first one will be uh, parietal and the anterior uh, posterior intercostal arteries. How many ribs do you know? Uh, three. No, how many ribs do we have in our body? Uh, twelve. Twelve. We have twelve ribs, right? And the first, second intercostal arteries uh, arise from which artery? Uh, Supreme. Good. It's. Uh, <coughs> Supreme, right? Supreme intercostal. Intercostal. It comes from which artery? Good. We have costa cervical, costa cervical trunk. Yeah. It will go to the cervix and it will come to the uh, to the ribs between first, second. Yeah, right. It gives us superior intercostal, uh, supreme intercostal artery, and starting from this, its first, second, starting from the third till 12 will be posterior intercostal arise from which artery yeah it's from this is our aorta tor thoracic and it will be coming from posterior surface between the ribs in the lower border and it will form anastomosis with which artery Good, right. yeah anterior intercostal artery comes from which artery subclavian artery which artery of subclavian uh, so, which? What's the first branch of the subclavian? The first branch of subclavian. Uh, uh, internal. Internal. Yeah, good. The first that that was costa cervical, costa cervical, right? The other one will be internal. This will be internal thoracic artery. Do you agree? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, internal thoracic artery will be giving. Excuse me, anterior. Our anterior, uh, they will form anastomosis. Uh, anterior intercostal intercost uh, artery. Here we have anastomosis. Posterior, anterior, yeah. What's your question? And <coughs> subclavian artery, the first Sub branch. Okay. Yeah, and we the next branch is superior 
yeah, this, this second parietal brain, the, the first one was this one, right? The first here, the second one is here, superior phrenic, phrenic artery. It will give rise to what? It will give rise yeah, branches yeah, to the yeah. diaphragm, right? Mm -hmm. To our yes. friend, yeah, here. It will be supplying blood here, and this internal thoracic artery has two more branches. Muscular, muscular phrenic, phrenic, yeah, and we have pericardophrenic, we can say pericardophrenic, yeah, mm -hmm. pericardophrenic, and it will go downwards, it will pass the border between the thorax and abdomen, now it will be called how? Superior epigastric artery, it will be going behind posteriorly to the rectus abdominis muscle, it will reach our umbilicus, this will come here at the level of umbilicus, it will form anastomosis with inferior epigastric artery. This is superior epigastric artery. Don't mix up please with superficial artery. We are talking about superior epigastric artery, forms anastomosis at the level of the umbilicus. We finish with parietal one, right? The next one will be which branches? Our visceral branches. Visceral branch, the first one, let's try to take the branch to. What's it? Yeah, it will be the tracheal and bronchial branches, right? This one. The, it will be giving rise, it will be giving blood supply to the bronchus, yeah, it will be given to the trachea, to this side, right? And it will form anastomosis with which artery? Uh, internal, yeah. internal thoracic artery. Mm -hmm. If you remember, if you remember, it has branches, branches to the esophagus, it has branches to the trachea, bronchus, and pericardium. Do you remember? Okay. This is internal thoracic yeah. artery yeah. also. There is no difference. Is it right or left? Is it the same from two sides? Okay? Because I need place from this side, that's why I'm going here. The next one, it is, that was the bronchial, bronchial or tracheal branches, ramus, okay? From internal thoracic, it will form here anastomosis. The next branch will be mediastinal. You remember? Medi we have pericardophrenic, remember? And it will form, it will go to the mediastinum, into the middle and posterior mediastinum. We have superior part, inferior part of mediastinum, and inferior we have three parts, anterior, middle, posterior mediastinum. This, this part of aorta will give rise to the structures in mediastinum, okay? The next one will be pericardial. What's pericard? A coronary heart. Yeah, it's a, uh, yeah, it's a layer around the fibers here. It will cover pericardium, it will uh, supply the pericardium. Yeah. Yeah. Before that, pericardial branch artery, we have pericardophrenic. From the which artery? Internal. From internal thoracic. It will give rise. It will form anastomosis here. Okay. The next one will be esophagus. Esophagus. It will form esophag esophageal ramus branches, and it will have uh, esophageal. Uh, branches from the internal thoracic and we have branches good inferior thyroid artery who can tell me from where it comes um, yeah that's correct it's a branch of subclavian artery which branch yeah inferior thyroid artery it's a branch of which artery of subclavian we have good closest cervical trunk no no, tyrocervical, tyrocervical trunk will give rise inferior thyroid and inferior thyroid will give rise to the esophagus and we have, it means we have anastomosis between abdominal and inferior subclavian artery is it clear? inferior thyroid artery from subclavian artery do you agree? from here yeah, to upper part of the esophagus any questions here? yeah that was explanation of the thoracic portion of aorta, okay? We have these branches and uh, visceral branches. Here we have two posterior intercostal arteries, there is anastomosis between the subclavian artery, and we have superior phrenic 
uh, artery. It has anastomosis with internal thoracic with the we have another artery in abdominal cavity. Okay, any questions? Okay, that's it. You can now click picture. Then we will be discussing the abdominal aorta. Okay, you can stop it now. Yeah. <coughs> Uh, yes, please.